TLO, what's poppin'? Who's that? That's me. <laughs> we are on kickkick.com. We are not live, though, so you can just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, this this above me, you know, you miss a live. Anything important or anything funny or inspirational will go on this channel. <laughs> we also got merch out. Even if you don't got want to cop right now or, you know what I'm saying, just go check out the site, man. I appreciate that enough. And we also got the Discord. That's important for when we're doing kick things and that nature. Um, all of this is in the description of this current video. So if you scroll down a little bit, <coughs> you uh, click link tree. It's in the description. Click it. Everything will pop up. UK police sergeant shot dead inside Croydon Station. The murder of Matt Ratana. So on Scar City Studios, what is going on? <laughs> See, this is how unaware of firearms that the police are in the UK. I don't know. That they didn't even search somebody correctly. Let me not jump to conclusions. Let me watch. Hey, My name's Matt. I'm the Castillo. Hold on. Let me make this smaller so we can see Officer Matt, okay. Sir, I'm in charge. I'm not involved in the investigation. You've been arrested on suspicion of possession of bullets, uh, ammunition, and possession of attempt to supply. Class B. Class B, anything else? No, it's it. All right, your detention's not been authorized yet, but I can authorize a search of you under section 54 of PACE. Stand up. Mate, you're good enough to. Wait, bro, is one hand above his back and one behind? Like, that's that's mistake number one. Why wasn't he searched before he was put, brought here thoroughly? Why are they allowing him to sit like this with one hand behind his back? Like, what? Mate, you're good enough to... I've got a taser. Well, he's got a gun. <laughs> I'll blow it, I'll blow it. Nah. I'm going to go away. Get him on the ground. Get him on the ground. And he shot himself too. The CCTV footage of the murder of Sergeant Matt Rattana in Croydon in 2020 has been released by the police. This is following the trial for wow. Luis de Souza, who is 25 years old now, but was 23 at the time that he shot Sergeant Matana dead inside a custody block. Matt Ratana was the custody sergeant at the time and the police have now released the footage of the moment that he was shot and also the moments that led up to the shooting, which include the two officers that arrested him and the search that took place before he went to the cell. When this story first broke, a lot of people were confused because everybody here in the UK knows the strict rules that they have when they search people before they go into a police station. Right, that's a, like that's standard across the world. Search before you get in the car, search. Like even when you first get, like if when you pull up to the station, if you ever got arrested before, they search you before you get in the car. They search you when you get out of the car at the police station before they bring you in. And then they search you inside again. <laughs> like, I don't even understand how she was in a holding cell with a, with a whole pistol. So he's a now, granted, he had a howdy bigger. partner, but like still. Mystery as to how we managed to get the gun into the police station and also how we managed to shoot him while he was handcuffed. And this is why this video was so important because it shows oh, he was handcuffed. added context as well and the procedures that were followed. And also yourself, you can try to point out anything that you believe may have been done incorrectly. During the trial that is ongoing at the moment, they have revealed that he was shot with an antique revolver that Louis had bought offline.
and he had converted himself and made bullets. Video footage was also released of his... Converted, I hate when they say that because all they do is put a firing pin in it. Allegedly, I don't know for sure. The rest as well when he shows the police officers that were dealing with him and the reason as to why they stopped him. He was walking down London Road on the 25th of September 2020 when he was stopped by police at 1.30am because they believed that he was acting suspiciously. He was carrying a duffel bag and of course everybody was wearing masks at this point. It was the middle of lockdown and Covid but at the same time the police officer believed that he looked suspicious. When they started to talk to him, Louis confessed that he had cannabis inside his bag and his English was very good as well, but later on in the police station, he started to struggle to communicate to some of the officers. Upon searching him, they discovered ammunition, but he was handcuffed at the time of the search and the officers did do quite a thorough search, to be fair, but the part where they believed... Well, he had a gun in his butt crack? ...if he held his gun was in a holster that was under his armpit. And this must have been either overlooked or mistakenly not felt at the time when they were searching him. But to be fair, the officers were quite reasonable when they were dis talking to him and they explained themselves very clearly. And it was also stated in the custody block that he should be searched again due to the fact that they found bullets on him. And this is what was about to occur before he shot Sergeant Matt Ritana dead after he fired four bullets. Now, I'll, take, I'll take it and have a look in a minute, all right? The reason is there's a lot of burglaries in this area, okay? It's half one in the morning. I he got marijuana, bullets, and a gun on him. That's why he acting like this. I don't know who you are. you probably got a totally legitimate excuse, all right? But at the moment, you're walking down the road with a duffel bag, all right? Which I, which I believe may have stuff going to equip to do a burglary, all right? So I'm just going to search you. Perfect. Okay, that's fine. Don't don't put your hands in your pockets. Hey, hello. Don't put your hands in your pockets. Okay. You okay? You're just gonna be searched, mate. You're not under arrest. I just need to search you. You okay? All right. Just a bit nervous, yeah. Okay. Are they expecting you home? Okay. That's fine. All right. That's fine. Nah, he knew what was up, obviously. He could have just went to, to jail for seven years for having a gun. Instead, you're going for 23. Okay. Never know, you might get treated like a king in there. But, you know. to search you all right so just pass me your phone and your mask okay all my concern is at the moment is if you've got anything on that's going to hurt me or you any needles any razor blades anything like that okay fine because you just told me you've got drugs on you i'm just going to have to put you in handcuffs while i search you the reason what's the matter so the reason for that is people try and do silly things when we search them they try and hurt themselves they try and hurt police officers all right. Can you take me into the car, please? Why? Don't resist. Listen to me very carefully. I know, I know. Don't resist. Okay, can you put him in the car, but put the handcuffs yeah. first, yeah? Okay. Is it someone's watching us? Or? And, and take, take the back off. Okay. Why do you want us to sit you in the car? He's trying to take your mind off searching him for the gun. Yo, just sit me in the car. Why? He's trying to... Don't worry. He's trying to distract y'all from what's really going on. Let's see. Your parents might see. No. Um. Control car create a cab for a, uh, a stop of a person on London Road, junction with Pollard. So they never searched them? Bill North, please. Don't put your hands in your pockets. Don't do that again. Do you understand? Do you understand? That's the third time you've done that and I've told you not to. I thought I 
Next time, listen to me, next time you're going to be handcuffed to the back. Yeah, no. Three times he should have been handcuffed in the back after the first time. <laughs> Not even going to lie. All right. Three times I've asked you. You speak perfectly good English. Stop doing it. So they still haven't searched him yet because they would have found that during a search. I've tried to do you a favor by taking you off the street. You've not told me why. I'm just saving you a little bit of embarrassment. Now you've reached into your... Stop talking. you now reached into your pockets three times and I've told you not to, right? you now told me you've got drugs on you when I thought you might have had some sort of tool on you to burgle someone's house. So now I'm going to search you... Stood right here, all right? Because I don't know what else. Okay, so now he's gonna search him. And I think there's more to this story than you're letting on, despite having drugs on you, all right? Okay, so I asked you earlier. I'm not. I'm not too sure what the answer was. Have you got anything on you, like sharp, that can hurt me or you? No. No. Bullets. Yeah, canisters. Oh. Right, at the moment, I'm placing you under arrest for possession of what I believe. Bullets. Bullets. Right. I feel like this is not that thorough of a search. <laughs> Like he found the bullets and then he was like, okay, found something. Let me just finish this little light search and then go on. Could I have van and cell space for one man adult arrested for possession of what I believe to be bullets on London Road Junction with Pollard Hill North? Hello. Hello. One five six seven. Okay, so after you find bullets, you don't cuff his hands behind his back. You might be considered a dangerous individual now that you found bullets. How did they not find it? Okay, thanks. I need to search the back of him. Hey, Ryan, you've got a South Star back for Miller. Just say receive for me. Just hold his jacket up for me. Nah, this is pretty thorough. I said it wasn't earlier, but. He got that huge jacket though, and it's too big for him. Like, it's baggy parts where it shouldn't be baggy if it was fitted correctly, so he could have missed it. Yeah, definitely. You got one pair of trousers on? I have a second pair of thermals. Right, okay. She speaks clear English. Who, who? <laughs> Who who would know what trousers are outside of somebody that can't can speak English? With the word trouser. Okay, just gonna search your inside leg. Spread your legs slightly for me, thank you. Where'd you get the boots from? Yeah, all good. So the moment I what what have residents res what what does that matter? What relevance does that hold?
The prosecution said that he pulled the trigger deliberately four times while he was handcuffed. And the first and second shot hit Sergeant Ritana in the chest. Dang, he hit him four times he pulled? The third shot hit the wall and the fourth shot hit Louis in his neck and this has left him disabled. He has arrived in court Dang. in a wheelchair. De Souza from Surrey denies murder and the defence told the trial at the Crown Court that he was suffering an autistic meltdown at the time of the shooting and did not mean or want to kill Sergeant Ritana. De Souza was taken from London Road in the... So what is he going to try to... What is that going to bring it down? Second degree or something? Early hours of the morning and put in the back of a police car and taken to Windmill Road at Croydon Police Station. He shot Matt Ritana dead half an hour later at 2am. The footage then shows the police wrestling with him, two officers, a male and a female. The female tries to taser him and the other and kick the gun away. But at this point, De Souza is laying on the gun. And this is when the fourth shot went off. Just before the taser was discharged, it was revealed in court. They allege that De Souza made the bullets for an antique revolver and he concealed it in a holster and got hold of it when he was handcuffed and shot the officer dead. The prosecution told the court that he was holding the gun in his right hand and fired at the chest of Sergeant Bittar. I don't even understand what led him to do that. He might have been temporarily insane. Like, I, like for what? <laughs> and the second shot hit Matt in the leg, but was not the fatal wound the chest shot was. The police officers jumped on him and tried to detain him. The Crown's barrister said the actions of Louis and the male officer he was struggling with affected where the gun was pointing and the actions combined made the gun point up and the third shot went into the ceiling. As the gun was raised, De Souza fired again and the final shot hit himself in the neck and this has caused him brain damage. It has been revealed in court. The jury has been allowed to fire the gun using blank rounds inside the court that has took place recently. Really? And this was to give him an idea of how powerful the gun was and also how easily it would have been for him to kill Sergeant Matt Ritana. Forensic science and ballistic expert Anthony Miller explained that the gun was loaded with dummy bullets inside the courtroom to demonstrate exactly what had happened. And Mr Miller told the court he examined the revolver and ammunition that was recovered at the scene and the prosecution asked if the gun could go off by accident and he said that he undertook vigorous could. testing and not once did the gun go off accidentally. At the time of the offence, Louis was living in Banstead in a flat inside a farm in Surrey and they said that he obtained the gun on the internet in June 2020. So this was only a few months before Reed been stopped with it while he was wandering the streets at 1.30am with a duffel bag. It just makes you wonder what Louis was actually planning. Why? Yeah, what was he on? Good call to stop that man, but like... Did he have this gun? He just seemed so nervous and he only had three grams of cannabis on him at the time. He wasn't carrying a large amount of drugs, so he wasn't potentially selling drugs by the looks of things. He just had personal use. He wasn't wearing a load of expensive clothes, so it just makes you wonder what on earth he was actually planning and what his mental state was at the time. And now all black oversized trench coat, combat boots. Ah I'm drawing a conclusion in my head. I'm guessing y'all are too. He's got to suffer with the fact he's that he's brain damaged to go do for something. the rest of his life. And at the time that he entered in court as well, he, was, he had his arm in a sling. So this may be because of some injury that he suffered in prison or maybe self-inflicted. Maybe he's injured himself in prison. So that definitely still leaves a lot of unanswered questions about who Louis was. And what his actual plans were with the gun. Maybe this will be revealed later on in the trial. But at the moment they've revealed how serious the situation was. And how quickly it escalated. And how deadly it ended up. So I really appreciate you joining me for this That's update. That's crazy man. That's wild man. Are there any updates yet? Tell a little like comment. Let me know if there's any updates. Follow me on kick man. Go check out the merch.